in my the reality that I've come across, people don't aren't quite that overtly confessional, mm. um, and, and people don't say what they think. And what is the allure of screenwriting for you? I mean, you talked earlier about that you that you knew when you did the documentary that, uh, script, you you were more interested in going into fiction, but fiction could be, I mean, why not be a novelist or a short story writer? What is it about wanting to create storylines for visual images that well, so I, seduced I you? That's I'd, I'd say I was a film, you know, it was, I mean, I think of screenwriters as filmmakers rather than writers necessarily. I mean, I've never wanted to write a novel. I mean, I wrote a couple of plays when I was quite young at university, but then very quickly moved on to film because it's it's the film storytelling, it's visual storytelling. I love, uh, you know, it's it's not dialogue. I enjoy writing, but it's not for me. If I can write a silent scene, um, whether it's drama or action or whatever, that's the real satisfaction. Is 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 and a lot of the movies I love don't have a huge amount of dialogue in them. Um, you know, and I, I kind of there's a simplicity and a minimalism which I've always liked in in movies, and and, and quite often if I write a script, most of it, bit long, long chunks of description without a single line of dialogue. I was going to say not just oh. the not just the movies you love, the movies you've made. I mean, Drive, the the 2011 film with Ryan Gosling, which I think is brilliant. There's I was thinking about you, the, the screenwriter. That there isn't actually very much. I mean, his character barely talks and I wonder what the challenge of I know it's a traditional question but the challenge of screenwriting is when there are just stretches of of silence or very little dialogue well, well I, th I think I mean what I, what, what I, if, I mean what I often do if there's a dialogue you know, like a scene with someone here like him who doesn't say very much it's, it, it's how you fill the silences and the emotions and trying to describe and it's something a lot of people tell you not to do in screenwriting but I can't help it because I've always I mean Harold Pinter was another huge influence on, on, on me when I was kind of at school and university and stuff and so the idea of pauses and the idea of actually what's not said being more truthful and more revealing than what is said I, I feel you sort of need to somehow get that across in a screenplay um, so what someone's doing or what they're not saying or structuring it so you've heard them say one thing to somebody else and now they're saying something completely different and you know again what they're not saying is really revealing and and, and so all, all of that the idea the idea of I, d I don't believe you know and that's one of the things that some movies I've, I've really struggled writing is when there's no subtext and mm -hmm. when people really say what they think and and come at it directly rather from the sides i find that sort of dialogue really hard to write and again i enjoy listening to it um and I enjoy watching films where there is that massive outpouring of, you don't realize I was a kid from a whatever, broken this and that and whatever. And, and I, don't, I, don't, I, you know, in my, in my the reality that I've come across, people don't, aren't quite that overtly confessional. Mm. Um, and, and people don't say what they think. And, and, and it's the, the, you know, the way language and dialogue is coded, I find more interesting than, than, than when it's absolutely, you know, people say exactly what they think.